The opportunity in the crypto space is absolutely unprecedented. You know, you have open access to a brand new financial ecosystem where you can make financial products that create insane amounts of money overnight. And sometimes you don't even have to be that technically sophisticated in order to pull this off. In fact, in this video, I'm going to talk about a guy who launched a cryptocurrency with zero coding with the help of AI tools like ChatGPT that reached a $100 million market cap in just a few days. I'm going to break down everything he did in this video today so that you can learn from it. Talk about all this as a blockchain developer myself who works with this technology on a daily basis. So if you're around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to double down on your skills to become a blockchain master, launch your own project, you know, break in the industry, increase your salary well past 100K, whatever your goals in blockchain are, I can try to crush those over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about this guy who made a $100 million meme coin in just a matter of a few days uh, with AI tools like ChatGPT with really no coding involved. And this happened about a month or so ago, but in case you haven't watched my re recent YouTube videos, you know, I've been moving YouTube studios. You might see the backgrounds a little bit different. I've kind of been behind on some of the hot topics, but I still wanted to make this video so that you all can understand this because I think it's really beneficial to understand what you can do with this technology and how to leverage things like AI tools to speed up your workflow. This is such an insane story and a whole lot can be learned. Now, here's the video that I'm talking about. You can just look it up, how I use AI to make a $20 million dollar meme coin that was just when it launched it quickly went to a hundred million dollars shortly after that so you can watch the whole 40 minute video if you want to it's a really great story he gets pretty emotional inside of it but i'll give you the blow by blow and show you what's really important so that you can understand reverse engineering this process and apply some of these learnings for yourself now as always as you take these learnings and apply them for yourself full disclaimer there's very likely going to be some serious legal ramifications if you launch a cryptocurrency on the blockchain that trades with really high valuations you always want to check with your official legal representation before you do something like that. I'm not advising that you launch a cryptocurrency. And should you choose to do so, you do it at your own risk. All right, so a quick background on this guy and an overview of what he did before we actually break this down step by step. So I learned all this from watching this video. So basically, you know, he's a artist who's been in the crypto space for quite some time. He's not a coder. He didn't hire a bunch of coders to do this. He really did it on a shoestring budget with the help of AI tools, specifically chat GPT and AI art generators like Midjourney to come with this cryptocurrency from scratch, like literally from the idea phase all the way to launch. And he used the AI for more than just the code, because if you're going to create a cryptocurrency from scratch and actually get people to use it out in the real world, yeah, you need some smart contracts to actually code out the cryptocurrency itself but you also need a really great idea. You need some artwork, you need a website, a launch plan, and so much more. And he used ChatGPT to do all this. So let's break down exactly how he did it. So step number one is he really came to ChatGPT with just an idea and some constraints and then had the AI create everything from scratch, just from this initial spark. He said, I gave GPT-4 a budget of $69 and asked it to make the next great meme coin. And you can actually see the AI prompt that he used here. He just said, you are meme coin GPT, a crypto genius AI capable of surpassing all current meme coin hype. I will carry out your suggestions with the help of my audience. You have $69 and your goal is to turn that into the most successful new meme coin without doing anything illegal, achieving a top 300 ranking on CoinGecko. And the AI basically responds with, okay, well, here's what you need to do. Step by step, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, et cetera. But the Step number one is to develop the actual concept, and that's the idea phase, and that's exactly what he started dialoguing with ChatGPT on. And so ChatGPT spit back a whole bunch of different names, about ten different suggestions of you know cryptocurrency names plus their symbols. He uh, went and polled his audience on which ones they liked best, and eventually they landed on the Turbo Toad uh, mascot for the AI which resented in the Turbo Token, okay, with a Turbo symbol. And this is actually the website they actually created with later. All right, so that's step number one with the idea phase. Basically, from an initial AI prompt, ChatGPT was able to give them lots of different suggestions based on its parameters and a little bit of social validation from his audience. They were all able to come up with the official idea. Now, on to phase two, which is before you even get into coding, you have to specify how the, the code's going to work in the first place or how the cryptocurrency is going to work. I see this a lot with new coders, especially... They start coding without knowing really what they're doing. But the whole thing in coding is you need to solve the problem first, then write the code to do it. Now, with cryptocurrencies, one of the biggest things you have to understand before you launch a crypto is what are the tokenomics going to be? So what does that mean? Well, basically, you know, cryptocurrencies are currencies. They must have sound economics behind them in order for them to be useful in the first place. So you have to have some idea of what the scarcity is going to be. This, of course, is going to be governed by the smart contract. 
But then like how many coins are going to be in existence? How many coins are going to be emitted later? How many are held back for the team? How do you distribute them? What's the circulating supply, et cetera, et cetera. And actually he was able to use chat gpt to completely solve this problem as well so basically he said he gave an idea based on a 2021 example but he was able to dialogue with chat gpt and give it recent examples like the pepe coin that was super hypey in q1 and they basically arrived at some figures on like the total supply beginning with a fixed total supply of 1 trillion having an initial token distribution of 90 percent for liquidity provision on decentralized exchanges like uniswap about seven percent reserved for centralized exchanges two percent for the team and funding and then 1.1 percent for promotions and partnerships basically don't keep any ownership over the contract have no pre-sale and create some type of anti-well mechanism that keeps large holders from manipulating the market. All right, so now that the whole idea is laid and the problem is essentially solved, it's time to write the code. So he just turned to ChatGPT to say like, hey, how can I do this? It gave some suggestions, but it's like, ultimately, I can just write the code for you. Now, he was able to give it a prompt and it spit back a Solidity contract that uses the Open Zeppelin library, something I've used plenty of times on my channel to bootstrap a meme coin uh, that doesn't really need that much customization beyond the name and the symbol. Now, people ask me about this all the time, like, hey, what can you really do with AI in terms of coding? It's really great for coding small, finite projects just like this that are uh, kind of solve problems. Again, you know, you could essentially hire somebody else to just pull this library off the shelf and launch it for you. But also, ChatGPT can basically just tell you the answer uh, with some basic customizations. And that's exactly what he's done here. That's all you really need to do to create some type of uh, minimum viable solidity contract for meme coin and chat GPT is able to perfectly supply this. All right. So the next stage in the development of this is doing the audit for the smart contract. And I've talked about this in a lot of videos in my channel. Um, you know, smart contracts are super, super critical to have audited. You need somebody else to look at the code to make sure it's right because they're immutable. Once you put them out on the blockchain, they can't change and they store all types of financial value. So if a hacker you know, does something bad, exploits a vulnerability in your contract, then it can completely wipe out your project. Now, at the end of the day, do you really want to trust an AI like ChatGPT to spit out perfect code that's completely free of any type of bugs that, you know, it has no security vulnerabilities? I don't want to trust that. I don't recommend that you trust that either. But he was faced a pretty big problem, which is auditing is expensive. OK, it could cost you, you know, tens of thousands of dollars to get a smart contract audited uh, by anyone with a strong reputation. So what he did was, you know, obviously didn't have that type of budget. So what he did was he just, you know, went to his audience, social media is like, hey, is there anybody can help me with the audit? It's a super basic contract. And so people gave him some pretty good suggestions. And all he did was feed those suggestions back into ChatGPT. It improved the contract and he was able to get by on that alone. All right. So now he's got the idea. He's got the, you know, everything solved. He's got the contracts written. They're audited. The final little piece of the puzzle here is just creating some type of a website that explains the token and does the marketing and the socials, of course. So um, again, he's not doing any coding. So he just used a site builder like uh, Google Sites. You can see that right here. And of course, this is a no code tool. So you can just sort of drag and drop point and click to configure things, upload images. But he asked, you know, ChatGPT just to provide all of the content for the website. So you have to sit here and think about what goes in each section. And he's able to spit that out able to create this uh, website here in no time. All right, once he's got that, he pretty much had everything set. It was just time to put the token on the blockchain. And I'm going to actually let you go watch the rest of the video on his channel to see the rest of this stuff. I highly recommend this video. It's pretty crazy watching all this unfold. There's a lot of exciting fireworks that you want to experience for yourself. But, you know, the TLDR is essentially a couple of days after launch, you know, it reached a $20 million market cap, like he says in the title of his YouTube video. But even just a couple of days after that, it reached over a $100 million market cap off of, you know, a cryptocurrency that really came out of thin air, okay, on a $69 budget from somebody who really doesn't have any coding skills, which is absolutely crazy and just a testament to what you can do with this technology, how powerful of a lever it actually is, especially when you combine other tools like artificial intelligence to get new projects off the ground. And because it's such a crazy story, I wanted to break it down in this video today so that you can see what's possible with this technology and what type of opportunities are out there for people with you know hardly any skills that are trying to get started today. So if that's something that you're interested in, then definitely smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the technical skills that you need to do stuff you know, like this, again, I'm not necessarily advising you to create your own cryptocurrency and launch it for real, but there's lots of opportunity in this space for these exciting things just like this. I can sure do all those things over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be experts to get started today. A lot of people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Adaptiversity.